guys, so pretty cool stuff. I had to do a video on this. Uh, Seth Starbuck just sent me parking front assembly that has vented capabilities with ductwork to your front brakes. So that's pretty exciting, and I kind of posted this up online on the interweb, and it looks like it's getting some pretty good interest. So I kind of wanted to go through and show you a little bit what come with the kit, and then we'll go ahead and get it on the car and wire it up and see what's up. But So let's take a look at here first what we have. Obviously, the star of the show is gonna be the new front parking light assembly. And they have, uh, this particular model has all amber. He is also coming out with a switchback, which means it's gonna be a white, like a modern car. And then when you turn on the signals or hazard, it'll actually flip back to amber. So that's gonna be kind of cool. And then you can see here, we've got an opening coming into it and it looks like it mounts in the same exact spot as your current setup. Um, and so then of course, I think he offers black or a chrome uh, grill for these. So it's a pretty cool setup. I can't wait to try these out. And then we've got the connector. Um, we'll go over the wiring in a minute. Then what happens is, is these will connect the ductwork. We'll connect to it. And then we'll, from there, we'll have another connection that will actually go right there in front of the front tire and get some cooling uh, air effect on the front brakes. So this kit, this part here is optional. If you just want to get the LED with, you know, that type, type of thing, then uh, you're, you're good to go from there. So the ducting is, is optional. Uh, but I wanted to go ahead and try that. And then of course, we got to wire it up. So we've got some clamps and then we've got the module for these. So we got a connector here that's gonna connect right on the lights. That's gonna easy connection here. It's a two wire connection. And then this connector here is four wires. That's gonna be for your ha connector harness here. So you'll tap into your existing wiring harness that's on your parking lamps. And then this just plugs right into that. So pretty much that easy. I don't have a wire diagram, so I'm just gonna use a multimeter and try to figure out which wire is which but this should be a pretty cool install. And I'm pretty excited today. I also have my buddy Z-Man who's gonna be behind the camera and a little bit, he'll, he'll be coming out in front of the camera too. So I wanna introduce you guys to him. He's gonna be helping me out with this stuff. And uh, Z-Man, I don't know if you wanna say hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool, man. Uh, so that's today's video, guys. Let's get right to it. All right, let's go ahead and a couple 10 millimeter bolts. Snake it through here. Then we'll disconnect it, which we should be able to just spin this guy out. Like so, and we won't be using this harness. We'll tap into it, and then the rest of it's just gonna plug in. A red light bulb. <laughs> I guess that's from the paint job. Hey, yeah, no wonder it was so after, damn dull. After spray. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go ahead and from the front, let's take this thing out and see what we got. It's actually a pretty nice one. It's got the little smoked appearance. Yeah. All right, so that's the way it come out. So let's see which one's gonna match that over here to take a look at a comparison. The LED is going to be at the top. I believe that's it right there. Mm -hmm. There's your difference. Pretty cool. Nice screws that come with it. Looks like some stainless hardware. So the first step we're gonna have to do is test which wire is a signal light, which wire is 
the parking lights. There we go. Because if we look at this, basically it's going to have four wires. You're going to have a, the white is the low power. So I think this would be nice if you wanted at night to have this light here 50% while the headlights are on, but I'm not going to hook that up because I want them bright all the time. So the black is the ground. So that'll be easy. We just use a ohm, uh, connect it to the ground and then uh, check the resistance to one of the wires and the connectors. The yellow is the turn signal, so that's easy to test. That's gonna be a positive circuit. So we'll use the multimeter to figure out, we'll turn on this turn signal and see which one that is. And high power is gonna be 100% brightness. This is what I want on the parking lights. So when you turn your parking lights on, your ambers will always be on. So that's the overview of how that thing will get wired. Seth's also gonna have some instructions that comes with all this. So. Uh, this is, I think, one of his first sets, so uh, it'll be nice to kind of test it out and give him some feedback. All right, so with that, let's go ahead. I'm going to need my trusty, dusty multimeter, and I think the first thing we'll do is test for get the connector. Here, let's see if I can do it from the front. Yeah. So we got three wires here. One's going to be ground, one's going to be parking lights, and the other's going to be a turn signal, I think. That's the way that works. I could use the supplied uh, wire clips that he has that basically integrates with the circuit uh, because you may want to just keep your stock connector here. The alternative is I could just cut these and solder the wires and heat shrink them, which I'm kind of thinking that might be what I do because I think it would be easier to use the clips, but they're not weatherproof. Yeah, exactly. And eventually maybe you'll get some, um, yeah, you could always splice it in there, you know, cut it, splice it back in, solder it with heat shrink, but still have the, the stock connector just dangling or even just put something over it. If you want to keep it from getting corroded. I'll put it in my trusty dusty stock stuff that one day I'll, somebody may want, but I'm not going to use it. Once you go LED, you don't go back. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> that is true. Is that what they say? Yeah, uh, yeah. That's <laughs> it's sort of like that. <laughs> <laughs> Once you go amber, you don't go back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give it enough. Actually, this thing is kind of crappy. I'll just get a different one. I am gone. All right. All right. So what we're going to do is I'll go ahead and strip these down. And I, don't, I can't find my wire strippers. So I'm going to do these the old fashioned way. Actually, I want more of that. Bring out our trusty dusty multimeter. We're going to start with figuring out the ground. So the first thing we'll do is we'll put this on ohms. And all that does is test if the circuit is connected. In other words, if you complete the circuit, you're going to see. Nudie. Continuity, there you go. He's the professional wiring guy here. I'm just, uh, I just learned this shit doing the swap. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, all right, so basically what I want to do is get a nice ground and then it's probably going to be this black one here. So I'm going to touch it to this black one. It should be. And then, there we go. So just find something on the chassis that's a good ground. Yep, Touch the yeah. other one to that. And zero we got, ohms. So, zero ohms. Yep. Continuity. Yep. 
So step one, we got the we got that one. Now to find out the other two, what's cool is now that I know that's ground, I can just put this to that and then let's test the parking lamp. figure out which one is hot but I we'll have to change this yeah you're on the DC setting it's a solid line with a dotted line underneath all right so what we'll do is we'll figure out which one of these is hot so we know the ground so we'll go ahead and put that on the ground there we go that's it 11 volts the car's been sitting for a few days running lamps or when we look at the diagram here we're going to put the running lamps which in my case and they change the wiring colors uh, so you'll have to look at yours but uh, we're going to run the red on the on the adapter for the lights to the high power because we want that to be on uh, <laughs> this just leaves the turquoise wire and that's going to be your turn signal, which is going to be the yellow on the, on the harness. So let's just test that real quick, too. We'll turn on the turn signal. Turn the on. All right. So now we should see it flash 12 volts. Like it's flashing. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's the deal. Now we know. Now we know, and now you know. The harness. Yeah. So if you want, you can use these clips here, and they just kind of clamp on to the circuit and make connection. And then what's cool about these actually, super easy. Then you can just plug this into it. Yeah. So that's one way to do it. Crimp taps. Crimp taps, yeah. Now I'll probably just cut these off. Black. So what I like to do is twist them together. In line. Western Union. Huh? We call those Western Unions. Oh, okay. Yep. No burrs, no nothing. Let's see here. And then uh, yellow was turn signal, which was this guy, I think. <laughs> we'll find out. I already forgot. That would be a bad idea to just test it real quick. Exactly. Right. All right. Ready for the test? Let's see what she does. All right, let's look at parking lamps. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful. Look at the yellow glow on that. Amber. Shit. Yeah, it's bright. Wow. I like it. Oh, man. <laughs> Isn't that cool or what? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> she bright. Yeah. She bright. What I love about it too is these crazy ass Tampa drivers. I love to re I love to run lights on the car just to give it a little bit more. Hey, don't pull in front of me to like the last second, you some bitch. More visibility, yeah. yeah I'm exactly. here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, let's try. Let's turn that off and try to park the uh, turn suit. Ooh, look at that. That is too cool. And it's bright too. Yeah, you're turning and we know it. <laughs> turning with an attitude. <laughs> see, I told you I was turning. Right, yep. You can't see that, you're blind. Because normally I'm doing this. <laughs> right. Um, you're 
one of those. <laughs> YMCA. <laughs> All right, now let's do parking ramps and then turn. Oh, that is too cool. It has like dimmer with the parking light, but the turn signal is brighter. That is too cool. Dope. Oh boy. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Yeah, look how it's, it's alternating on the side marker there. Mm-hmm. All right, winner, winner, chicken dinner. That's I right. We got something here. All right, now all right. Just button all that up, and then we'll run the duck. That's left. Sounds good. Out with the pyro pencil. That worked. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. As long as you I'll see it draws it through it. I'll see it under the heat shrink. Got some shrink wrap over it. That's a little bit too much. That's pretty cool. I mean, it, it looks really nice. Yeah, because the black is offset anyway. With yeah, the exactly. I had to run around the heat exchanger pump and some hoses so this one ended up being a little more challenging but kind of goes up to the light and then go ahead and dump out right at the tire all right that's it 